Hey everyone, my name is Eugene Tay and you're watching me on Crypto Central. Now, in the next evolution of the cryptocurrency landscape, I envision a marketplace full of financial products and services integrated into the blockchain ecosystem where anyone can build a profitable portfolio in any market situation. Now, powering that ecosystem is Olympus Labs. Founded by CEO Kai Cheng, has been going around the world from states to Singapore and Asia to talk about the plans and his vision for Olympus Labs. And the market is getting really excited. Well, what it really does is for those who want it to be broken down really easy to understand is Imagine Ethereum, right? You have a smart contract for Ethereum where any ideas, products, and projects can build upon Ethereum smart contract and just come to life. Now, if you want to build a fintech product and service, Olympus Labs is the one for you. The Olympus Labs platform and the marketplace is designed to support fintech products. Now, why is that important? Very simple. If you look at the market today, you understand that a lot of things is just whacked out of control. Uh, it's volatile. There's not many instruments out there for the more uh, savvy investor to come about to really take cryptocurrency very seriously. But as we go further into the cryptocurrency space, as Bitcoin shows up higher, getting more mainstream traction, we're going to see a lot of investors coming about demanding more complicated and mature instruments. And so what do we do? We can't be creating one product after another hoping to just um, reach out to the masses. And traditionally, if you want to do anything with a fintech, you need to have license, you need to be accredited. But the cool thing about crowdsourcing and crowdsourcing all these ideas is that Olympus Lab is now the platform to support any of these innovations. This is going to be a massive disruption to the fintech industry, but in a good way because anyone out there with an idea or you think you have uh, a profitable plan to build a portfolio or if you have anything at all in the fintech space and you want to build Olympus Labs is the one for you to build upon so what's what happens to the marketplace is then that we as consumers or investors have a lot more options to choose from and then we can decide through free market wheel and forces which one is the better product that we want to support and those just naturally gets raised to the surface so when you are empowering the society and the community to come forth with their own innovation, you're going to get an entire playing field of fintech products that have never been seen before. And this is just a tip of this iceberg of what Olympus Labs is really trying to do. There's a lot more that they have in their roadmap. Go check out their white paper. But don't just take my word for it. Stay tuned for after this message, we have Kai coming up to talk about Olympus Labs. Well, my name is Eugene Tay. You're watching us on Crypto Central, signing out. setting a new standard for like financial products, smart contracts. Because if you use, you know, the existing ones, yeah. um, the existing standard, yeah. uh, for, for Ethereum, like based by on Ethereum, like you're going to have to customize so many things to make it work. Mm -hmm. And we'd rather have it be like, okay, here's like what works for, for Fintech, here's the, the oh. standard. So that for other players who want to create products on, or, like for Fintech, yeah. like they, like our standard would have most of the features already built in. Exactly. Okay, so that's the game plan. That's the game plan. Like, like that's like the all the SDKs, APIs, collaborators, all that stuff. Mm. That's so that um, you know, for anyone who wants to do in fintech, it's like Olympus is the go-to. Uh, like one of the things we're working on now is to uh, work with like portfolio managers so that they can use our tools to create like funds mm. for their like for their investors. We're gonna actually host like hackathons yeah. and sort of competitions. Where then, you know, with the idea would be like create what you think would be the most interesting or most useful financial products for the for crypto investors. And then we will have, um, you know, people in crypto vote for which mm -hmm. products they like. And then we're actually going to support the ones that are, you know, like top one or top two, top three. Cool. And then we're going to help them build out their products, make sure their you know, their products are safe and secure. Um, even we'll even like, you know, fund them if, if needed to help them like to get out their products. So... We want, like, we want the markets, right, to discover what products they need mm. and then have people create those products. No, but no. we're the platform and the uh, and the infrastructure to, to do it. Um, you know, crypto markets today are $200 billion, right, yeah. which might seem like a lot um, from compared to its early days. But if you look at it as, as an asset class, it's very tiny. I mean, some buildings in some cities, like a single building sell for more than $200 billion sometimes. And so if you compare that to, like, a, um, you know, an asset class like stocks, or you know debt or like foreign exchange, it you know it's like it doesn't even show up on the radar. 
And I think that's why, you know, there's some folks like Jamie Dimon who can say, yeah. you know, Bitcoin is a bubble, it's a scam, because he's right. At the 200 billion, I mean, Apple, a single pound company, it's like 700 billion, right? Or 600 billion, depending on like the day. Yeah. And so when you're that small, mm. um, it's easy for someone who's like, who doesn't believe in it or who's a naysayer to, to say, make a comment like, oh, it's nothing yeah. and dismiss it. But what we want to do with Olympus Labs is that we want to take this $200 billion um, in a, in a marketplace. Yeah. We want to make it into like a $20 trillion marketplace wow. in the next three to five years. Um, because if you look at any tradi like traditional market, yeah. the, un the underlying asset in the spot market, um, it's usually pretty small compared to like the, you know, the tourist market. Like sometimes, so like for example, most likely for most products, the durage market is like 100 times bigger mm -hmm. than the actual like product itself. Yeah. And so we believe that this is where crypto needs to go. Um, and so I'm excited because what this means is that um, like our vision, I guess, would be for uh, crypto be to become an asset class just like a stock or a bond. And so like for anyone who has like, let's say a pension fund or like a mutual fund, like your ad asset allocation would be like, I have some in stocks, uh, some in cash, and, some, and, in and, some, and some in crypto, and I, ideally it would be like Olympus-based crypto products. Oh, okay. And that's like, that's our, our vision, that's where we want to be. We want to be mm -hmm. the, um, you know, kind of the black rock of crypto, where our products are just e everywhere, or I co-founded a blockchain project before that's actually revenue positive okay. and has clients. So I know how to build blockchain into a business and not just, uh, I mean, the underlying tech is cool. But I think with any technology, right, whether it's AI, AR, VR, or, or, um, or a blockchain, it needs to serve an end purpose, right? It needs to benefit society in some way for it to have real value. And, you know, for us, it's like there's three things that we think are important for this work. One is tech, right? Mm -hmm. And so we have a nine-person blockchain team. Um, secondly is product design, mm -hmm. right? I think it's in the one of the issues about blockchain not becoming as mainstream as it, is, as it should be, mm -hmm. is that for better or worse, right, and I hope I'm not like pissing on my off here, but most products I've seen based on blockchain are just really crappy products. Like from yeah. like an end user like experience perspective, like yeah. it, it looks crappy, it experiences like, you know, like buggy. Um, and so I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. uh, I think my experience having started a uh, social networking um, app before really helps with like understanding, okay, you really need to like get into the end consumer's perspective and not just looking at it from a developer perspective. Yeah. Um, and then lastly, on the business side, um, you, know, you know, what we're doing, for example, is we're having events um, for like fund managers in LA, in New York, um, and you know, we're also uh, trying to work with like Access in Singapore. Mm. We're trying to create these industry groups to then um, help um, like guide legislation mm. in a way that's helpful and, and healthy for the crypto market. And so, I mean, that's not something that like this combination of the three, tech, uh, product and business, mm. I don't think I've really seen like <clears throat> anyone really nail it yet yeah. in blockchain. And I think it will take some time for for these uh, for these other guys to to really like understand that it's the combo of the three yeah. uh, that will really kind of like give you an edge. The way I see crypto is in three stages, right? Okay. So the first was Bitcoin itself, and yeah. that that was like the first like wave. Then the second wave is ICOs, mm -hmm. right? And where like you know literally, I think the investment logic was. How soon can you list? Because that's in the market's going like this. Yeah. And the only thing that matters is like how quickly we quickly can put in money and get it out, right? Because you know, like you know, at that time, because there's so few projects and so so much money coming coming in that in like as soon as the day they list, you take you you triple or you, you quadruple and you take the money out and yeah. then put it into the next project and repeat. Yeah. Um. But you know, and um, and, and I used to do that too. But those, like, in my opinion, those days are over. What it's needed now is like, um, you know one longer term strategy, right? So like getting back to your question earlier about um, like, uh, or your comment earlier about um, you know, your investment horizon, like please do not invest in Olympus if you're not willing to hold on for at least six to 12 months yeah. or better yet, like one to two or three years. Um, if you're looking for something short term, uh, I recommend you to look at another company. <laughs> <laughs>